Hello, welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. So today, in today's tutorial, I'm going to take you through and how you can set up Active Directory domain within Azure on your own domain controllers. So we're going to be using the Active Directory deployment template straight from the Azure Marketplace. If you look in the description of this video, you'll find a link that takes you directly to this. And what this will do is you can choose to deploy it on Windows Server 2016 or 2019. You can choose to uh, set it up on an existing VNet or deploy a, uh, a brand new VNet. So let's get started. So all you do is click on get it now. And then click on continue. And then this will take you through the setup. So we'll just hit on create. So I'm gonna create a new uh, resource group. Uh, choose what region. So I'll just leave it on the default. And then you gotta choose a domain admin username for the new domain. So this is gonna be your, your domain administrator account for the domain. So let's just do a test. Let's just say, uh, test admin and then the password so it has to be a complex password put that in there and then we're going to do next and then choose what what uh, what version you want to run so do you want windows 2019 or 2016 so i'll go for, for 2019 choose what domain name so I'm just going to do test domain and then how many active directory domain controllers do you want to deploy so I'll just do two uh, what VNet do you want to do it on so I'm going to create a new VNet and subnet next go to DCVM details so what is the DCVM's prefix name so I'll just leave it on the default and VM size so I'll leave it on the default and then review and create let's just check the error message so the passwords don't match okay let's just retype that in Okay, so just give a quick review. Yep, that looks okay. And then hit create. And then what that will do is that will go off, that will build two domain controllers, it will build a new uh, virtual network. And what it will also do, it will update the virtual network DNS settings to point to your domain controllers. So that will make sure the DNS is working. And also if you add any VMs to this new VNet, it will automatically pull down the, the DNS addresses of your DCs. But I'll go over that later. So now would be the good time to make yourself a coffee or have a break because this will go through and build everything. So we'll pause the video and we'll come back and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, so that is finished now. So you'll get a screen like this. Go to resource group and these are the resources that it's deployed. So the new VNet, uh, my first domain controller, with the it's got an attached data disk, a NIC, a disk for the OS disk. Second domain controller, data disk, NIC, uh, the OS disk, and an availability set that has the two VMs on there. So, what you're going to need to do now, if you have an existing VNet that you want to give network connectivity to these domain controllers, what you're going to need to do is click on the VNet and you want to go to peerings. So peerings will allow you to peer, join 
this VNet to your other VNet so network routing and stuff can talk to these new VMs so you just click on add give it a name and then you select what virtual network because I don't have any other VNets oh I do have VNets so I would just add one if I wanted to but I don't need to do that because this is just a demo and one other thing I want to show you is we click on DNS on the VNet uh, DNS servers it's added the IP addresses of the two domain controllers so you've got full DNS resolution within this VNet so that is there all built now so if I want to RDP onto one of these I'm gonna have to give it a public IP address because I've not got any internal network connectivity so what I'll do is Great. So we'll put in public IP address. Hit create. Give it a name. And put it in the resource group. we go to our first domain controller I'm gonna to have to turn it off to attach the public IP address and then go to networking Attach uh, so I think you have to click on the nick and let's just try and remember how to do this. So let's go back to the resource group. Public IP address, click on that. Associate. Associate with network interface and attach it to the first domain controller. And then if we go back to our domain controller, just check that it's connected. Yep, there it is. So let's power it back on. Get the public RP address and then get an RDP session. Like it's still booting up. Let's try it again. Okay, so if we log in, uh, I think I forgot what the username was. So if that happens to you, just go back to the resource group and click on deployments. Click on inputs. So yeah, it was test admin. Let's try that again. There we go. 
let's see, it's created that new domain. We're logging in with the domain administrator account. And what I'll do is I'll open up Server Manager just to show you uh, Active Directory users and computers just to confirm that it has successfully deployed. Okay, so on Serve Manager, go to Tools, and there you go. You've got all the Active Directory uh, management tools. So if we look at users and computers, you can go ahead and start creating users, start creating uh, Active Directory group policies. So there's our domain, domain controllers. There you go, one and two, and that's it. So hopefully that's worked for you guys as well. If you have any questions or any problems or just any questions in general about Active Directory and within Azure, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. And if this video has helped you, please, I would really appreciate a like or a subscribe if you want more tutorials on stuff in Azure. Please do subscribe and thanks very much.